Ah, uh, you know what? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to have you follow in behind the casket, please. I have 
never enter. Him let us through our Lord Jesus Christ give glory forever and ever. Christ has indeed been raised from the dead. First to those who are fallen asleep. And soon death came through a man. The resurrection of the dead comes also through a man. For us in Adam all die, so in Christ all will be made alive. But he is in the world of man. Christ the first fruit then when he comes also belongs to him. Then the end will come. When the, he hands over the kingdom to God the Father, after he has destroyed all dominion, authority, and power, he must reign on those he has put all enemies under his feet. The last enemy to be destroyed is death. For he has put everything under his feet. Now when he says that everything has been put under him, it is clear that this does not include God himself. He puts everything under Christ. And he has done this, then the Son himself is made subject to him. He puts everything under him so that God may be all Father, we are grateful to you for your daughter, the best Mrs. Jaria to write. We thank you for the life you gave her on this earth. And Lord, in your own way, you have called her back on your son. Even as we inter her mortal remains, our prayer is that, Lord, she will rest in peace. Our prayer is that, Lord, in your presence, she will find that food of joy. We know that you are ever faithful. You never leave us nor abandon us. We give you praise in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Now we know that if the earthly tent we live in is destroyed, we have a building from God, an eternal house in heaven, not built by human hands. Eternal Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourself fully to the work of the Lord because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. Amen. Amen. I was going to ask you to go and
Yes, if I pray the Almighty God, I great mercy to take unto himself, himself the soul of our dear sister, here departed, commit her body to the ground, head to head, ash to ash, dust to dust. <laughs> Do so in the sure and certain hope of the resurrection through our Lord Jesus Christ, which shall change our body of humiliation that it may be like his glorious body, according to the mighty working whereby he is able to subdue all things unto himself. Let us pray. Dear Lord, you are the giver of life. Thank you for the life of our dear sister, Geriatri. You gave her to us. Today it has pleased you to take care unto yourself. Commit her soul, spirit, and body into your mighty hands with a sure hope that one of those days when you gather all your saints together, we shall see her one more time. Pray for your peace to reign in the hearts and minds body of all the family members we pray your comfort you are the comfort of our spirit and soul wipe away every tear cause the strength and the joy of the holy spirit to be our portion mm -hmm. in the name of jesus christ we pray the blessing of the lord upon all of us to praise against sickness and disease in this family and for the church community and everybody. May the mighty hand of the Lord bring us divine health and healing. May the Lord protect us. May the Lord keep us. In the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. That's why I want to invite the family to go to throw the flowers or any other thing. Let me, let me announce that today is, should have been her 52nd birthday. And so the family want to say happy birthday for the last time for her.
Thank you all for the word of sympathy for our mom, your voice of concern, rejection of caring, and the love you offer. We didn't have asked for a better service. We are so glad that you are all part of our family to have this blessed and many time and sadness of our family. Thank you so much for all the help and guidance you gave us. This has been a very stressful time and you helped us release some of the stress. Thank you for being so flexible. Thank you again for your support and kindness. During one of the worst times of our lives, our family would like to thank you, the Church of Pentecost, Calgary, the Sierra Leoneans, Liberians, and the Christian people of Calgary for your hard work over the last couple of months. What can I express our appreciation for what you've shown to, for us that has been done recently? Thank you, Pastor Richard and Elders. Your professionalism and graciousness we are outstanding. And we will never forget for helping us through the funeral process. We have no idea where to begin, and you walk us through each part. We appreciate the compassion you showed us to our family this difficult time. Hopefully, we will not need your service anytime soon. But if we do, we know we're in good hands. I would like to acknowledge a few individuals who have really helped us do this process and to Margaret, and to Patu, and to Alpha, Abi, and the rest of the team. If I didn't call your name, I'm sorry. But thank you guys so much for being, um, helping us through this process. It's really, really hard for us this past month. It has been really easy for us. Thanks to all our friends and our families for being here to today. Thank you guys. Every one of you did excellently well. He can't mention mm -hmm. all the names. But you all did, did excellently well. We appreciate each and every one of you. All the churches, including Church of Pentecost, you have been in our hearts. You just did what we expected. At a time that we had nowhere to start, I, for one, in my first experience, directly, I didn't know what to do, where to start. My pastor was by my side right from the hospital at Foothills, Tom Baker Cancer Center. That's where I started asking. Because the first question truth was, who is going to receive the remains? Is she going to be buried so she can be sent to a funeral home? Which funeral home have you contacted? Nothing was done at the time. We had nowhere to start as a family, my, myself, the children, and my sister-in-law. Who we are present by the grace of God, pastor's intervention, along with the presiding elder, they, start, they started suggesting ideas. And of course, as a man of God who have been handling situations like this in the church with vast experience, he gave directions. He was the one that made contact with the funeral home. Everything that was supposed to be done was done by his hand. We want to be thankful to everyone. We are grateful to all of you, the family members. Judges involved, we don't know your names, but God knows. We appreciate you all. We thank you for being here with us. God bless you all. God bless you, area head. God bless you, pastor. Elders, family, friends, every one of us. God bless you all. There's nothing more we could say. Happy birthday, mom. We are here to wish you the final few hours too. So, um, after we are done, a uh, benediction will be given. After the benediction, we will all proceed from here to the Temple Community Association for the celebration of life. Uh, later, the, um, the funeral, I mean, the cemetery will 
cover the uh, casket. But we will see what's going to do. And now may the Lord bless you, may the Lord keep you. Lord, uphold you in his righteous hand. May he guide your feet. May he grant you peace. The Lord turn his face towards each one of us. May his countenance be lifted upon you. May he go before you. May he level every valley, every crooked pathway. May every mountain before you be leveled up. May the Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. Lord give you long life. The Lord heal all sickness and diseases of your body. In Jesus' mighty name, go in peace. Amen. 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 Amen.